Welcome to Z-Code System here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the return of Spanish football. La Liga returns today, June 11th, with a big game going on in Spain. It is the Grand Derby, the Derby of Seville, and it will kick off La Liga, a six-week round of matches or a six-week run of matches coming up as teams finish out the last 11 games of the season. So thanks for tuning in today, guys, here on YouTube to Z-Code System as we talk about the return of La Liga today. It's good to have you here. And if you're finding us for the first time, welcome. We appreciate you tuning in. And if you are coming back once again, then thank you for sticking with us. And you can always subscribe to the channel so you get updates whenever we post here on YouTube with Z-Code System, giving you all the picks that you could want from the various sports around the world. Now, as I said, uh, La Liga is returning today, June 11th, with one big game tonight, and then games carrying on over the next four nights. So there's a lot of football to be watching from Spain, as they are going to be basically having a mini marathon of games over the next six weeks. Uh, each team has 11 matches to play, so there's going to be football throughout the week coming from uh, the continent, and then if you add in Germany, Portugal, uh, Italy returning soon, and the English Premier League returning on June 17th. That's just next week. There's going to be a lot of great club football to watch now that the uh, restrictions for the coronavirus have been lifted in, uh, in Europe. And we're also going to be seeing some football going on, or some soccer, should I say, going on in North America as both Major League Soccer and the women's NWSL will be returning and playing some short tournaments in uh, selected areas. But again, we're talking today about La Liga, and we're going to take a look at two games that uh, I'm going to preview for you that are coming up, including tonight's uh, derby in Seville. And then you can also go over to our blog, which is right there at zcodesystem.com backslash blog, and you can check out a third game uh, that is going on. Now, as you probably know, Barcelona and Real Madrid are fighting it out for the Spanish crown this season. The two arch rivals are within two points of each other, and uh, Real Madrid trailing uh, Barcelona uh, by those two points and being very inconsistent this season. Uh, it looks like Barcelona could go on to win the trophy once more. And the latest sports book uh, odds for Barcelona to win the league are right now minus 163, while Real Madrid are plus 125. Now, there are 11 games left in the regular season, or in the season uh, completely, uh, but with Real Madrid two points back, um, the the other teams that are, uh, if you if you will, third, fourth, uh, uh, nearest Barcelona, those teams really don't have a, a shot at uh, grabbing that title, uh, and those teams are Sevilla as well as Real Sociedad, and those teams are really just holding on to those two places right now. Uh, so... We've got games coming up this weekend, but before we look at these two games I'm going to profile, I just want to turn your attention to the top performing automated systems real quick. So as you can see here, we have top performing automated systems, which you can check out on zcodesystem.com backslash topsystems.php, and you can get the latest top performing systems that are available to use to help you make educated bets on all of the sports you wager on. Now, I have specifically selected soccer here, so you can check out the different systems that are performing well in the soccer community. And these are based on live signals, and these are the top profits uh, that we have at Z-Code System. And you can see right there some great systems bringing in some excellent profits. Uh, the Andre Soccer Tie System, as you can see there, with a profit of $30,000, over $30,000, and a fantastic return on investment of 6.60%. These are some brilliant systems that can help you make great selections on all of the soccer that you want to bet on. And of course, as you know, with the soccer leagues coming back now from the COVID-19 hiatus, 
and the restrictions being reduced, soccer is basically the biggest sport going on, one of the only sports really going on. Uh, if you were a fan of Australian sports right now, you did probably see this morning, uh, depending on where you are, that is, uh, the games of the Australian, uh, the Aussie rules, the AFL that uh, has returned. But right now, for the most part, the big sports going on are soccer, uh, which are being played, well, on the continent of Europe, as well as in Asia. And uh, some of the leagues are already allowing some fans back. I believe Vietnam, uh, or maybe it was Thailand this week, uh, they let fans back into the uh, stadiums, and it was a huge um, success. Lots of people really enjoying getting back to some normalcy. Now, let's take a look at those two games that I promised coming up in La Liga, and let's start with that Grand Derby going on tonight in Seville. Okay, as you can see here, we have our prediction here, courtesy of Z Code System, our VIP picks. We have the game between Real Betis and Sevilla going on. And as I said earlier, Sevilla right now in third place in La Liga. They are performing very well um, under manager Julian Lopetegui. Uh, he took over last summer, and he's really got Sevilla playing uh, some good football there. Uh, Betis is the, uh, you know, the poster child for inconsistency. Uh, brought in a new manager over the last offseason, uh, Ruby. Uh, brought in a bunch of new players, including uh, Nabil Fakir from Lyon, who was a big money signing. And, well, has it worked? No, it hasn't. They're 12th right now in the league and just being very inconsistent. Now, this game is going to be played at Sevilla's um, Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan Stadium there in Seville. So Betis will be going across the city to play them. And just so you know, Real Betis do not travel well. They have only won one game this season on the road. So a team that struggles mightily away from home. But as the old cliche goes, throw the book out the window when it comes to form in a derby. Sevilla could have trouble putting away Betis in this game. This will be a very fiery match. Um, this is considered the fiercest derby uh, and rivalry between teams in all of Spain. And if you've read the fantastic book, The Frying Pan of Spain, well, you'll understand just why. Now, let's take a quick look at the head-to-head -head between these two teams over the last uh, few games. And as you can see here, back in November, Sevilla did pull off a 2-1 victory. Scroll back up. A 2-1 victory over Real Betis. And they have, in fact, won the last two matches between the two clubs. Betis uh, did claim a home victory last, uh, last season in 2018. But uh, Sevilla have been unbeaten in three of their last four games. Uh, Sevilla, again, playing at home uh, tonight. And uh, they will be favored, or they are favorites, going into this game. And I have to say, I can't see... I can't see past a Sevilla win uh, in this game. Real Betis are just too inconsistent for me. And I think Sevilla will pull this off in a very, uh, very narrow uh, game, a very close game. But in the end, they will win and hold on to that third place position right now in La Liga as they fight for the Champions League qualification. Sevilla do have much uh, far better players overall than Betis do. So I think this is going to be a very good day for the Sevilla supporters in Seville. And uh, we're going to see uh, the city painted red and white uh, after the derby. Now, let's get on to one more game. And for this one, we're going to go on to... Uh, Saturday to see a game uh, between Barcelona and Mallorca. Okay, here we have Barcelona taking on <clears throat> Mallorca. This game is going to be coming to you on Saturday. It is the late game on Saturday, and it will be played on Mallorca. Uh, Barcelona go in to the game atop the league. Mallorca are in 18th place right now and they are in the relegation zone. They are one of the teams right now tipped to be relegated back to the Segunda. So Barcelona going in red hot, but again, we've just had this huge hiatus, um, three months off of football. But will that um, it, will that, uh, that uh, hiatus enable Mallorca to come back and defeat Barcelona? I don't really think it will. Uh, Barcelona are just too strong of a team. And the good thing for Barcelona, they have gotten back a few players from injury due to the three-month layoff. Uh, Luis Suarez, who would have missed the second half of the season with a knee injury, he's back and he will be playing 
uh, for Barcelona. Not sure if he's going to start this game, but he should feature at least uh, coming on as a substitute sometime in the fixture. Lionel Messi also did suffer a bit of an injury back at the end of May once teams resumed training, but he has been he has been cleared to play, and it looks like he will get a start for Barcelona. Now, the last time these two teams played uh, earlier this season, when they played at Camp Nou in Barcelona, uh, Lionel Messi bagged a hat trick in a 5-2 win. I can see that Messi will uh, have another multi-goal game again this time around. My market, not a very good defensive team. And if you want to throw down a little bit of a bet on Messi scoring a hat trick, well, I wouldn't be surprised if he pulls that off. Messi uh, loved uh, loved scoring against Mallorca, and I could see him going out and bagging some more goals this weekend when they visit the island. And as you can see there, that was the game played back in December, a 5-2 win for Barcelona. Uh, also in that game, Lionel, uh, besides Lionel Messi scoring, Luis Suarez and Antoine Griezmann also got on the score sheet for Barcelona. So my choice for this one is going to be definitely Barcelona. They are massive favorites. Uh, I expect them to pick up a big win, uh, keep that first place position uh, as they played almost 24 hours before Real Madrid play on Sunday. Real Madrid, you know, they should also get a victory there and stay within two points of Barcelona. Right now, as I said before, Barcelona are the favored team at minus 163 to lift the La Liga crown. Uh, Real Madrid chasing them, but are a very inconsistent team. Now, a caveat to that, why you might want to put some money down on Real Madrid to actually win the league this year, is that Barcelona have struggled away from home. I believe, off the top of my head, they have lost five times already this year away from home. I don't think they're going to lose away from home this weekend, but down the line, and coming up in a few weeks, I could see Barcelona dropping more points as they go away from Camp Nou. Now remember, there are going to be a lot of games coming up in the next six weeks. Each team has 11 games. And so we are going to see a lot of football. So perhaps the fatigue could play a factor in these teams uh, dropping points or gaining points. So those are my picks for today, guys. Don't forget, you can go over to the blog, zcodesystem.com backslash blog, to get one more pick for the weekend. And that is for a Sunday game between Athletic Bilbao and Atletico Madrid, which will take place at San Memes in the Basque Country. So guys, thank you for watching today. Please give us a like and subscribe to the channel on YouTube. And we want to thank you for checking us out. If this is your first time, we hope to have you back. And if you're coming back again for another view, then thank you for coming. And we hope to see you again the next time around. Have a great weekend, guys. Good luck with your La Liga betting. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.